Hey guys, I want to welcome you to a brand new channel. This is Driven to Perfection Reptiles. Now I do want to be completely transparent. This is not a breeder's channel. This is a channel that's focused on reptile ownership. Now ever since I was six years old, I wanted to own a pet snake. I remember being in elementary school, uh, coloring and cutting out snakes and putting them around my neck going home in a bus. Um, that passion never left. When I was in Chicago in 2005, I had my first opportunity to buy a snake. Um, it had a very strong feeding response, so much that even when I walked near the cage, it bit. Um, my very first snake is right over here. I'm gonna bring her out in a second. Her name is Samra. I absolutely love this snake. Uh, she's a ball python, she's a normal, um, but she has the best demeanor. I mean, She's almost dog-like. She's absolutely amazing. And we also have a spider ball python named Raider. He's an Azantic. I will show you him as well. And of course, this is going to be the star of the channel, Mrs. Slithers, a green tree python. It's a Bayak. Uh, she will get about six feet when she's fully grown and will turn completely green. Um, first of all, you know, like I said, this is not a breeder's channel. This is a channel about reptile ownership and learning from the mistakes that I make. I made plenty of mistakes and I want you guys to be able to go out and buy a pet snake and not make the same mistakes that I did. Now, this is one of the mistakes that we made. Buying this beautiful green tree python. Why did I say it was a mistake? We didn't have any of the setup. We didn't buy the cage. We didn't buy anything. We found her at this um, reptile store and we just fell in love with her. We bought her. We're very impulsive. And when we bought her, then we bought the aquarium. Well, the aquarium we bought just isn't the best thing for her. It's a expo aquarium. It's, I think it's like 18 by 24 by 24 or 24 by 24 by 24 um, but it's hard to keep the humidity for her and they need some significant humidity between you know 50 to 70 percent um, so it is more challenging so we have decided to invest in the future of the snake and buy it a good cage we buy one from steve i can give you the link of the information if you want to um, later on um, with a PVC, it's going to cost nearly a thousand dollars to build. Uh, but again, she's worth it. We absolutely love the snake. As you can see, look how docile she is. She likes to have her little chin rubbed. So you know, green trees normally have the stigma that you can't hold them, that you can't touch them, that they're they're aggressive. And we had the same stigma. And we when we bought her. Um, the, I do give a lot of credit to the very first owners of the snake. It was a owner surrender to, according to the shop. And he must have spent some time with her because she is docile. But when we first got her, I named her Striker. Why? Because every time I got near the cage, she was striking. Um, I've only been tagged twice by her. Um, the very first one was when we first got her. Again, Striker. Um, trying to move things in a cage while she's getting used to us. Um, and the second is when we noticed that she had mites, um, whether she had them from the store or if she got them somehow through fresh uh, kill that we had. Um, we always buy frozen thawed. The place that she was going, that she was actually at feeds live. And um, we had to go get some, some mice for her. They said that they had the frozen. We drove all the way down there. It was about a hour and 10 minute drive um, to get some good mice for her. And guess what? They didn't have any frozen like they said, and they did pre-killed um, right then and there. They could have something with them at that point, got mites on her. Um, but then one day, like seriously, like a week later, um, I saw some mites on her head and I was like, okay, well we need to be proactive and start really treating it. Um, now there's different methods that you can treat. I use olive oil. Olive oil does a fantastic job. It's cheap. You can go to Walmart, you can go to Publix, you can go to a grocery store. 
Um, the other is front line uh, that you can actually do a front line with a mixture of water. Um, work, works wonders as well for mites. We treated her, got her taken care of with the olive oil. But the very first time, you know, getting the olive oil put on her, she wasn't sure what it was, so she did bite. Um, but that's the only two times I've ever been bitten by her. Um, afterwards, we have built a very strong bond with this snake. The snake does have free will. Um, if she wants to be in our hands, she will be in our hands. Um, if she wants to stay in her perch, she will stay in her perch. We do allow the snakes to make their own decision. Um, there's been plenty of times where we try to put her away and she didn't want to be inside her cage. She wanted to be around us or she wants to do her own roaming. Um, so she is absolutely amazing. Would she make a good first pet snake? This one here, absolutely. She is so docile, she's so chill. Like I said, I've only been tagged twice. The first one was probably my mistake for not reading her correctly um, when she first getting into her cage. Let her, give her a little bit more time before I start trying to move her environment around. The second time, it was just a, you know, what's going on with this oil, what is it on me? Uh, but as soon as she realized that we were helping her, I mean, she is just simply amazing. I mean, this, this snake is just awesome. I absolutely love her.